You need to do this if you're experiencing an issue of a high VRAM clock at idle while specific monitor refresh rates are set. As you can see, uh, we have our monitor set at 75 Hz and the VRAM clock frequency is very high as if a 3D application is running. But when we switch to 60 Hz, the VRAM clock becomes normal. But upon switching back to 75, we see 2000 MHz again. It doesn't really hurt anything, but you may not be able to use the fan stop feature since the memory will keep the temperature higher than the 0 RPM threshold. To fix this, do the following. First, download custom resolution utility from this website. Then open it and head to extension blocks. Uh, there you need to find your resolution and refresh rate configuration. For me it's this one, 2560 by 1440, 75 Hz. There you need to set a round number like 75. And here you need to choose a standard timing configuration. For me, exact one works well. For you it may be any other one. But from my experience, CVT reduced blanking and exact reduced uh, doesn't fix uh, this issue. So exact, then OK, OK, OK. Then we restart the driver. So the, graf uh, the graphics driver uh, has restarted. Uh, now we need to... OK, we are at 75 Hz. And let's get to uh, Radeon software settings. And as you can see, we are at 75 Hz and our VRAM clock is low as it should be at idle without 3D applications running. So uh, a little note here, uh, in some cases changing the timing configuration may cause a black screen, so before doing that I'd recommend switching back to 60Hz and only then applying changes to your desired refresh rate, because then if anything goes wrong and you won't be able to confirm changes like here Windows will revert back to 60 Hz by itself. So, thanks for watching, I guess.